Hi, welcome to Becky's Homestead. In this episode, we're going to do my new segment, Practical Homestead Horse Care. Let's go! Hi, welcome to our first segment of Practical Homestead Horse Care. Today, I'm going to be showing you the tools you'll need to give your pony's feet a trim. That way, if you have the desire to do it yourself, you can save the money that you'd be paying the farrier, and then you can just keep that money for something else on the homestead. It's actually very easy. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this is just a basic hoof pick. It has a little horse head on this side, which I like, but it has the pick on one side and then the brush on the other. It's very, very common and simple. And then the next tool is the hoof knife which you can buy a left-handed or a right-handed, but this happens to be both. You could use it in either hand, which I'm kind of ambidextrous when I do the feet, so I need a both right and left knife. But it doesn't matter. You can get whichever kind you prefer. Then is a gigantic file, and basically all it is is like a big gigantic fingernail file. One side is like kind of smooth, and the other side is rougher and takes more off. Some of them come with a wooden handle if you like that, but I like to hold the, the file a little farther down so I don't need the handle. It's all preference, once again. Uh, one thing I did want to point out. <laughs> On the file, you can't sharpen files, so basically when you use it enough and it starts getting dull, you just try to keep it as clean as possible. But when it gets dull, you basically throw it away and get a new one. Then you have your nippers, which actually trims the horse's foot, and they come in different length handles. So I guess depending on how strong you are, obviously the longer the handle, the more leverage you have. I prefer a shorter handle, and I like to just keep them nice and sharp, and these you can sharpen. So when they get dull, just keep sharpening them. But they do get to a point where you can't sharpen them any further, and then you do have to throw them away. But it does take quite a while for that. This is a hoof jack, which is a really, really useful tool that I found out about and bought. You loosen this, and this comes up or down. So depending on the size of your horse, you can hire it or lower it. Another nice feature it has are magnets that hold your tools. So they're right there handy, and you're not like flailing around to get them. You can just reach right down and get them. And it makes the job go quicker. I'm quickly going to clean his hoof, and obviously, you know, kind of the faster you go, the better it is for the horse. Next, I get my hoof knife, and I just clean it up so I can see what I'm talking about. You don't have to go really, really deep, but you don't have to be afraid to clean it either, so it's kind of a balance. Just clean it out so you can see what you're looking at there. Make sure there's nothing in there, any rocks or anything. Now his bars grew a little bit. But what I'm going to do is trim those because to me it's easier to trim them than trying to cut them. So I'm just going to, if he leaves his foot there. Stand. Ah, ah, ah. Thunder. He's usually better than this, but he is going to be a little. And if you get a book. You can read all that and it describes every part of the hoof because it is good to know what you're doing and not just start trimming. I like to get all the black off there because that way thrush doesn't start growing and if you have a horse, I'm sure you know what that is. Stand. Oh. Okay, uh, right around here, as you can see, is where the sole connects to the hoof wall. So that's kind of your trim line. You know where you want to trim with the nippers. Oh, stand up. So you don't want to go into the hoof sole, but you do want to trim the wall down a little bit. Now this hoof is not very long, so he doesn't need too much trimming, but I'm going to trim it a tiny bit with my nippers. And like I said, I like them nice and sharp so I can quickly do it. He barely needs it, of course, the dogs love it. And then you just go around with your nippers and nip it off. And then next, I'm gonna use the file. 
And what you're looking for is a nice, flat, balanced hoof. You don't want it angled. You want it nice and flat. So. See, I'm using my left hand on this side because for me it's easier, but I know a lot of people can't do that. So. You're just going to file it. And you know, it's like your fingernails. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. But, you know, you want to get it as good as you can. Okay. And then I just kind of pick it up and look down it like that. And that's good. Good boy. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you have any questions, be sure to email them. Happy homesteading. I'm comfortable because you're standing stupid. Oh my gosh. Pick your foot up. <laughs> Get off it. Thunder. Don't be a pain. Bad boy.